Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. You may have heard, but there is a hurricane out in the Atlantic. Well, you guys are getting this vlog later, so there was a hurricane out in the Atlantic, and that hurricane is Irma. And that hurricane is big. Big and strong and powerful. In fact, it's currently tied with a few other hurricanes for the second most powerful hurricane in recorded history. The single most powerful hurricane ever recorded was Allen in 1980 at 190 mile per hour winds, and this current one, Irma, is at 185. It's close, and it's actually getting more powerful, so it could become the most powerful hurricane ever. Cool. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on it. Um, right now, the, the models don't suggest, at least most of the models, don't suggest that it's going to be coming straight for us. Uh, it looks like it's going to come up Florida, which sucks for Florida, but helps us out a little bit. Currently, we're keeping an eye on it. We'll be talking much more about it soon because it's going to be affecting us very soon. Um, we bought a case of water the other day, just in case. So we have some water. We went out uh, earlier today and we bought um, just some dry foods and, and things that um, you know we don't have to cook that we can eat because it's very likely that if we end up staying that we're probably gonna lose power like we did last year for Hurricane Matthew. So uh, we're keeping an eye on everything at the moment. But it doesn't look great. It doesn't yeah, look good. It doesn't look very great. It, what? That white line is uh, us. Yeah, I mean, but most of the models. Like, this dot on the white line is over us. <laughs> yes, but most models yeah. have I it mean, coming up Florida. Most models are these purple ones over here that most. are not over us. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's a hurricane. That's that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say, I'm still zoomed in. There's a hurricane, and uh, we will be dealing with that soon. Um, but, we, you know, we do have supplies, and we do have, um, you know, we have lanterns and things of that nature, so uh, we can handle it. It's just a matter of um, figuring out what it's going to do exactly, how strong it's going to be exactly, and then using that information to decide if we're going to stay or if we're going to evacuate. But we'll learn more about that soon. Today is actually not about that. Today is about the fact that Mallory took a DNA test some time ago, um, because I took one, uh, at this point, what, over a year ago, probably? Yeah. I took a DNA test over a year ago. Uh, one of um, our viewers had sent in a DNA test because I really knew nothing about my family or my history or anything. So that DNA test was super eye-opening and uh, very exciting. Well, recently the DNA test went on sale, and Mal was like, I'd really like to do that. And I was like, all right. So we got a DNA test, and Mal has just got her results in. And you probably know a little bit more what to expect. Yeah. I mean, whereas I did really not. different. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that's the but thing. Yeah. But you, you kind of have an idea of yeah. what you're going to expect. Polish, German, Dutch. Yeah. Okay. Well. Maybe a little bit French, because it started to move on the west side of Germany on one side of the family. Okay. Well, then pull it up and let's see what happens. So I have 100% Europe, which I don't think you had. 100% Europe? Yep. And I have 36% East Europe, which would be this so, area. So 100% was Europe? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And well, I my 36% East Europe. Okay. 33% um, Great Britain. 15% Scandinavia. And 5% Europe West. Hmm. And like, you see all of these dots? Yeah. Those are like genetic communities. So, so a lot of Polish, a lot of German? Yeah. I so, don't know exactly what that means. What's that mean? Show where your family probably lived in the past few hundred years. Okay. We create these by identifying groups of ancestry DNA members who are genetically connected to each other. Which makes a lot of sense because most of um, my grandfather and my dad's side was like here. And my grandmother's family was more from Germany, and my mom's family was definitely somewhere from the Netherlands and Germany, like getting into like Luxembourg area. So this more or less confirms what you knew. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I was still. I was wondering if there'd be something strange, like you're one percent African or something. Yeah. Uh, no, I guess not. I mean, mine was kind of, mine is kind of from all over a little bit. Um, mostly Europe. But yours is entirely, entirely Europe. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I just figured people would be interested in Mallory's DNA results. Like, that's something that, that's something I was interested in. 
These DNA kits are really cool. They can either help confirm things that you suspected, like in Mal's case, or if you know nothing about yourself or your history, your family, or whatever, like I did, they can be extremely eye-opening. Um, so they're they're pretty cool. I'll put a link to um, where we got ours. We got ours on Amazon, so I'll put that in the description if you're interested. Um, it's cool. I mean, it's just cool to learn things, or I guess in Mal's case, to to confirm what you already knew. Because anytime I'd ask Mal about her family, she said it was, you know, Polish, Polish and German, and that's what that map says. It's like, yep, yep. In addition to doing some hurricane. Uh, prep shopping today. We also um, did some recordings. Uh, we actually just finished up recording two first 20s. Because the hurricane is coming, uh, I am basically trying to prepare a lot of extra content because I I suspect that we're going to lose power. And I want to get everything uploaded and scheduled ahead of time to the best of my ability because I am, I'm worried that we're probably going to lose power for some amount of time. Um, worst case scenario, we have to evacuate, but at least then, if we have to evacuate, I'm taking my stuff with me, and I can probably work to some extent from um, where we are, but I still want to try and get everything uploaded because uh, hotel internet is generally not as good as the internet here, uh, at least very, very rarely. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, fingers crossed for Irma. Uh, I'm not going to talk as if you guys are getting this now because I know that you're getting this in the future. I'm just going to talk as how I'm feeling right now. Um, hopefully Hurricane Irma uh, will <laughs> miss us uh, or at least be you know extremely downgraded by the time it gets up here so it doesn't disrupt productivity. Um, hurricanes are just a fact of life. I've been through many, many, many of them growing up. Uh, this will be Mallory's second hurricane, and uh, it's going to be, you know, probably a memorable one, especially for the fact that it's almost the most powerful hurricane ever recorded, which makes it memorable by default. We'll talk more about it in the coming days, and uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?